Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to use Gemini AI API in your Flutter app. So let's get started. So first thing, just Google Gemini AI API, you'll be getting the link as built with the Gemini API. Just click here. And in this you need to sign in with your Google account. After that you'll be getting the get API key in Google AI Studio option. Just click here and you will be taken to an interface like this. Here we can test our prompts or image input and get a response from Gemini AI API. So in case we want, you can just type something over here and you can just run the prompt. It will give you a sample demo response, okay? So first thing, we'll be having a documentation option to the left. Just open it in a new tab. And in this documentation, to the left, we'll be having get started. Under that, we'll be having getting started tutorials. If we expand that, we'll be having dot flutter. Just click this. And here we'll be having the entire documentation along with the code and code explanation how to configure Gemini AI API with flutter. It has for both the pro vision that is the image model as well as the normal text model. So now let's just go with the text model and here we are having literally everything. So let's go and now follow these instructions, okay? First thing is obviously we will be requiring the Flutter package, which is this one, Google Generative AI. So this is the one. If you want, you can just, you know, go through the installations as well as the version. And here I'm having a normal Flutter demo project over here. I didn't make any changes. I'm just going to like get a response from the Gemini AI API. That's the thing it's going to be about. So first thing as usual, here you can see they have asked us to install this. So I will just copy this and go to the terminal and just paste it. And that's it, it has been added. And if I go to project, and if I go to the popspec.yaml file, and if I scroll down, here you can see it has been automatically added. So now we are good, also to pop get. And now let's go to the documentation again. And first thing is we need to import this particular statement. I will just copy this. And to the top, I will just have it over here. Next thing is going to be the generative model and here we need to specify our API key and in this case they are having some environment variables to store the API key but since this is just a demo purpose I'm just going to directly hot code the API key and if I scroll down they're just having the entire thing under void main function itself so just a demo purpose right so let's just copy this code and do it so I'm just keeping this part I will just copy this and go to my void main function of the app just paste it over here and here we need to specify our API key so just have double quotes to get the API key same thing just go to that playground and to the left you will be having this get API key and you will be having this create API key option you can just click here and since I already have multiple existing projects I won't be having this option enabled in case if you have this enabled you can just click on this and create an API key and I will just select my project and click on create API key. Just copying this. And if you want to remove the API key, you can just delete it. That's totally up to you. I will just go here and paste it within double quotes. And it's throwing us an error because here we need to have async. Yeah, now this is fine. We'll be getting an response for this. I will just go here and change the prompt to describe global warming something like this now let's just run it i would recommend to run it fully rather than hot reloading it just go to run and we need to get this particular thing in the response so it will take some time after completely running it will take some time to hit the api and get the response yeah so here you can see we have got the response over here and along with some spaces so the code is working actually we have successfully done it and in case if you want to use this particular thing within a uh, functions let's suppose say that I want to on click and in the click it should trigger the API so we can also do that for example we are having this increment counter so this increment counter is a on click function for this button if we click this the increment counter function will be called and it's present at the on pressed of this floating action button so I'm just going to add this code inside this function just to show it even works under on click so just cut this and just put it inside here yeah that's it and it should be also a async function that's it 
clear this and let me just rerun it again and this time we need to click this particular button to trigger the API call so I'll just go here and click this button so I've got the response so that's the video guys do check the playlist of my channel done a lot of videos in programming uh, as well as OpenAI API, Gemini AI API and other AI tools also check the playlist subscribe me thanks for watching